Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some cargo running in a Nomad. So, we hope you like this one, guys. If you do like this one, don't forget to take that pointer and tickle the like button. And don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. It really does help us out, pushing us up on, on YouTube and around. Also, the code dropping down, if you're new to Star Citizen, if you use that code, you'll um, get 5,000 credits free when you do create an account. And um, it'll push me up in the leadership rankings for uh, more goodies from CIG. Also, this week we're on free, free fly from the 17th to the 30th of April 2023. And um, if you use that code, you can actually you you can actually play the game for free without having to buy a ship, uh, and then you can test it out and stuff for yourself and, and have a play around with it. And if you do decide to buy the game and you uh, within that time limit um, by the 30th of April, you'll also get a Merlin uh, ship for free as well, and and give me a Merlin ship for free. Um, so yeah, so we all like that one. Also, don't forget to check out the description, guys, for the Discord. We've got a lot of people over there in Discord now, all chatting away, finding other people in their areas, their time zones to play with, and um, just having a good laugh and, and, and fun and chatting to people, meeting new people and, and just getting on and playing. When we do the live streams on Twitch and Kick and, and YouTube, uh, people jump in with us and we all go out. We did a 10-player um, pirate mission the other week. So, yeah, it's, it's good fun. Also, there's memberships as well. So if you want to help the channel out further, there's also a link for memberships in, in the description as well. So enough of all that, guys. Let's get into this. So what I'm going to do is free fly. And some of the ships, one of the ships, should I say, that they Welcome give us this on the, the free fly is the Nomad. System. Now, I had a Nomad. I upgraded my, my Nomad uh, to a Nomad, should I say, from my starter ship a while back. I've now since changed it and got a bigger cargo running ship. But I spent a lot of time making a lot of money with the Nomad. I absolutely love this ship. It's a small ship. It can it can fly quite quick and it's quite maneuverable. And you've got 24 cargo, so you can make some decent money from it. So the 100, 100i is a uh, part of this free fly week. The uh, Speria Blade, I think, is as well. The Nomad, the Mustang Alpha, the Hover Quad is, I think, the Arrow is and the Gladius is as well. So let's have a look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get out the nomad i absolutely love the nomad um it's got cargo on the back of it um the only thing with that is that it with this new patch piracy um is going to be a big thing so having the cargo on the outside might be not a great thing me and peeper uh in one stage we um stole someone's cargo from the back of uh, a nomad <laughs> before he flew off uh, so it can be um, that can be the down part of it, but it is a fast ship, and um, it can earn some money if you need it to. And big with stocks being low, um, this could also be a, a good alternative to having taking in big ships. So let's get this out. I'm over at Port Olasar, and I'm going to hang around the Crusader area. Wait, it did the, I don't know why it did that. It did the wrong one. So let me just talk a little bit more about um, the memberships. Just currently, we did a live stream and we've um, had a new member, uh, Biggest Dickers. Um, he got the supporter level, uh, so thank you to him for that. Also, we have Anna Marie, Mar, uh, Mar Bauer, and Leo, who also got memberships last month and they've renewed their memberships for the second month. So really appreciate all of you guys. Um, it really does help us out, help the channel grow. So let's get the ship out, guys. Where are we? The Nomad. This was my favourite ship for months. I've been playing the game for just close to a year now, and this was one of my favourite ships for a long, long time. CO7. Side. Now, this um, isn't going to be about how you make this much in this amount of time or anything like that. This is just while people are using the free fly. Make sure you got an helmet when you come out of this station. While, we, while we're doing this free fly and people have access to the Nomad, give this Nomad a try for, for running uh, cargo. It is a decent little cargo runner for me. And I just wanted to show people uh, the cargo runs in it because I absolutely loved it. So here we are. So here's the Nomad. And as you'll see, it's floating. No, that's not a bug uh, where the ship's floating. This is the Nomad and it has like magnetic floating pads underneath, which makes it float so it doesn't land on the floor, which is pretty cool. Uh, especially when you see it bouncing around and the, this is the ladder where you can have the ladder come out and grab up into the ladder and then you've got this back bit here which is your cargo section and you press on that and you can do the same on the inside and you can 
either put a vehicle up in there or you can uh, or that's where you'll stack your cargo so the cargo is on the outside like in a pickup truck and it can easily be stolen so that's one thing to watch out for so you can put a small vehicle on there if you need to but this is where your cargo will snap to it'll all go into here and snap to this and then you've also got control in here and a back window that you can look through so i'm just going to show you around a quick clear let's put that back up there we are oh no we put it back up so that's your cargo ramp access there on the outside and i think this ship i think i'm right in this saying this ship may also um create fuel as you as you fly through certain things i think it, i think i'm right in saying that that it actually um is quite fuel efficient because it it refuels itself as it goes along not massive with like um like massive amounts but i think it does help um you have to read more onto that so let's go into here so we click this and the ladders will drop out and like i said it'll be an animation so it doesn't matter that it's not on the floor and then as you come in you've got here weapons locker just to the side here let me put my torch on so you've got a weapons locker here and here to put a weapon in if you need you've got like a little um like uh, wardrobe locker there then you've got your toilet here and then you've got components here that you can open and then here you've got access to look at the back ramp and also you can click here to open that back bay as well and turn the torch back off then in here you've got your living quarters you've got a little chair that pulls out here um let's open it so you can see it you've got bed for logging out if you need to log out and then in here you've got the pilot area oh don't want to sit down not what i wanted to do a little plant in here as well no let's let's close this close and then up top here you've got component access as well so that's this ship uh, quick interior look and then we'll get into this. I love this the seat of this. Like I said, this was my favourite ship for a long time. I absolutely loved this ship. And the view as well. So if I turn on my my Morbi, uh, Morb, my Torbi, you can see like the view around is really good, especially when you're coming into land. Such a good view. Um, absolutely love this ship. Turn ship on. Starting pre-flight protocols. So you'll hear me saying... You'll hear me talking to my ship to do certain things. That is Emily. I'm using Emily to do that. There's a link in the description and 25% off if you knew, if you use Noobs25. Um, the good guys over at Emily sorted that code out for us, but for you guys, if you do use Emily. And so you'll hear me talking to my ship. It's my third hand because I use a, a pad. And so this is my third hand, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to see how much money I've got. So I've got about 200,000. Um, uh, I can't remember how much it is to fill it. I think 200,000 is about where it is to fill it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to... Um, I'm in Crusader. So I'm going to head over to Sailing and Private Property over here. And that's going to be the first place I go. Get some, um, get some cargo here. Probably, I think it's uh, Widow or Slam, one of them two it is, an ETAM. And then what I'll do is I'll head over to Damar and Brio's Breakers Yard to sell it here. Now, this is going to be dangerous. Um, the good thing about having this is it's a smaller ship, so there's somebody else in the Nomad now. It's a smaller ship, so it's not too bad. Um, the only issue, uh, like I said, is, is you could be piracy. So I do highly recommend making sure you do runs with people, especially in bigger ships. So doing cargo runs definitely want um, more people around you. The profit on this might only be around 70,000 if we're lucky. So on each run. So whether you want to have somebody with you and split that profit, that's, that's up to you really. So let's go. So we're on uh, 3 point, um, uh, 318.1 uh, on the live servers. It's just dropped. I got the black and red paint when I first when I had this, but because we're in the free free fly and, and I'd already got rid of this, and um, that's not what I have. 
you got two guns there on the top and a gun just underneath. Uh, if I show you that, just a gun under here. Uh, we can see it there. And then you've got four missiles this side and four missiles that side. So eight, eight missiles, basically. So let's get back to where we was. And let's head over to private property. Like I said it's a bit more maneuverable, this ship, than some of the bigger ships. And I think this one also has two shield generators on it as well. Ground if I'm not mistaken. Set sh power shields. Maximizing shields. And the, the little display on the, on across there is absolutely lovely. I love it. I love the display, the way it goes across. You can pretty much see everything that you need. Quantum travel complete. So let's do this. So always remember be pinging. It's advised turning your lights off on your ship. Don't have your lights on, your main lights on when you're landing and stuff because people will see it a lot, a lot, a lot easier. Uh, pirates, so just be aware of that. You can use your lights as you're coming in if you need, but when you're landing, that turn them off. And you'll see when I um, when I land, what will happen is if I haven't got my shields full. Oh. So guys, as you know, I crashed there. <laughs> so I wanted to show you, basically, I'm going to jump back to being on the moon again in a minute. But I just wanted to show you the claim um, time on this. Oh, not that one. Let's see a blade. So just so you can see what the, the claim time is on the, on the Nomad. 40 seconds. So that's not bad. And not a bad claim time, that. 40 seconds or... 300 uh, Alpha UEC, which I'll play here consistent. So that shows um, another good reason for the Nomad, um, having the Nomad. It's a good little hauler, uh, fast. Got some armor on it, so number seven. Got some weapons on it, and he's fast at getting out um, if you make a mistake like that. So you'll probably see me now going back to the planet. Quantum travel complete. So we're back here at the moon. And you see there, there's my dead body from where I crashed into the planet. And we'll go into uh, private property now. Quantum travel engaged. So this time, hopefully, we don't crash in again. Quantum travel complete. So this time I'm going to turn my lights on. And I'm going to just keep making sure I ping. And I'm going to make sure I keep my marker above this time. And once I get to about 10, I'll start bringing my thing down. 10,000, I'll start bringing my thing down. Now, I'll start bringing it. Sometimes the lights can be a bit um, like you see with the mist and that. So what I'm going to do now is, um, as we're coming in, I'm going to show you why I love this. Another thing that I love with this, the sleekness of it, the sleek design. Retract landing gear. Retracting landing gear. I know it should have been deployed. But yeah, just that, the, the, the sleekness of that. And this ship just floats as well, where it just floats over the ground. So let's... So I'm going to turn my lights off this time. Now, and just come into private property. There she is. Start coming down. Can't see no ships around, so that's good. We're all good with that. Oh, got to remember that. It is a fragile ship, this. It doesn't take a lot to blow it up when you crash. Whereas I've had things like the hull end and the misc... Um, freelancer where you can bounce it around a lot. This one doesn't take that. 
So there we go. And basically, it doesn't land on the floor. As you see there, it just floats over the floor. So don't be mistaken on that. I don't think it's a bug. Turn engines off. Powering down. Engine systems disabled. I'm going to turn my lights off. You see how bright that is when you got your lights on. So when they do bring in having to put load your own cargo, you would come here and you would open the cargo bay from in here. So, yeah. You can jump out of here if you want, but there's been many times I've brought my legs doing that, so I always do that and make sure that the, ra the ladders go back up so somebody else doesn't go on your ship then. Right, so let's have a look what we got. We've got, let's get in and then we'll see how this cycles. We have 246, uh, 204,685. It's 204,000. So there's a red box here, red box here. So let's grab this. And what I'll do is I'll just move all this to the local, all this stuff. Just move it all. So if you don't have the, if it's greyed out, you have to move one and then it should light up then for the rest. And we'll do the same over here. Set the local. And again, we'll move one and then move all. And we can sell all this at the space stations. And then in here, you might have food and water that we can move over as well. Uh, so I'll take the tractor beam, put that there. Uh, well, it's not the tractor beam, but it's the, the multi-tool for it. Okay, I'll just put that there then. It's not going to let me have it. And we'll take the water and a bit of this food as well. Just so that we've got it in later on if we need it. And then there's nothing there. No box there. No box there. We're all good. This is tree pollen, and it's not worth a lot, so there's no point in taking it. And you'll get, if you get caught with it, you're blown up. Right, so we'll get to the Nomad. Select our Nomad. Select the subcategory, just the grid, because there's no extra ones. And we can only put 24 on. So what have we got here? So we've got Slam, which we'll take. We can buy five of those. Confirm that's going to cost us 70 grand. And we've got Neon here, which is uh, 59. So we'll take all of that. Accept that. So we are now. Let's have a look. It shows me how full we are. No, it's not going to show me. Let's go back into it so you can see how full we are. Also, it's up to you if you want to hang around for these to refresh. You can look at um, SC Trade Tools for how the refresh rate on this and see how, how it does. So we're half full, we've got 12, 12 cargo basically, um, 13 cargo. So we can hang around and wait, or we can go somewhere else if you wanna do that, um, which is probably what we'll do. And because it's only 24 cargo, it's not like, you know, it's not gonna take a massive amount to fill it, and you'll see here if I drop this down. Open the cargo bay you'll see then, like that's where it puts it. And if you've got a tractor beam, then you can um, tractor that. Let's just grab a screenshot of that. Let me turn myself by the way. I like to get a screenshot, you see, of my cargo. Right, that should be enough. Right. And let's pull this up. Let's get in our ship and we'll go somewhere else. So what I'm going to do, because we're going over to Brio's Breakers Yard, I'll go to Neon, Neon Waste Management and we'll fill up there as well. So the good things about this is it's a small, nimble ship and it doesn't take a lot to fill it up and it only costs about 200000 to fill it up. And um, you should make a decent profit of around 70 grand, if you're lucky, depending on um, the stock um, demand. 
Let's go. So what I'm going to do is head over to Dema. So we've got the Dema, and we're going to go to Neon West Management if we can find it. There's Brio's Breakers Yard. There's Neon West Management. Set that. Let's go. So we're good. It's turned blue. Let's go. Quantum travel engaged. Quantum travel complete. So this is where you're going to be, have to be more careful because people will hang around Brio's. They could hang around the places that you buy, but why do that when you can hang around, if you're a pirate, why do that when you can hang around where you sell? Because all those four places around here you can buy from are all going to head to the same place to sell. And I would do this ship up if I had um, bought the ship again. I would do it up and replace the quantum drive and all that stuff. shields and the power units just so you get the be the best of the ship itself quantum travel engaged quantum travel complete so this is why i love this ship so much because it's only small cargo runs. You can make about 70 grand. I know it's not like making 300,000 like you can do with the Max and stuff, but there's more pressure with the Max and more outlay. So, like, Quantum to fill the Max will cost you close to a million. Uh, to fill the whole air costs you 700,000. But then if you lose that, you crash or you get jacked, you've lost all that. Whereas with the Nomad, it's only 200,000 and it's small load, so... It doesn't matter about the, the stocks, as you saw there, I'm half full just on one of them. Whereas with the Max, that wouldn't even touch the sides because it's 120. So you'd need to be going around a lot. Whereas with this, you can jump around travel, quite we? quick to these places. If there is only stock levels of three, four, five, six, eight, whatever, you're going to still fill up your cargo pretty quick. So that's a, a good reason why I love it. It's nimble. The 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 displays are there in front of you and I love that um, it's just a great ship for cargo running for small cargo running um, for me I, I would I would love to buy the ship again just to do small cargo running because I absolutely love just flying the ship and um, doing cargo runs in it deploy landing gear deploying landing gear and it's just a landing great ship engaged. like the look of it and, and that So it looks like we're all right here as well. It doesn't look like there's enemies around here. So it looks like we're good. And hopefully we can get enough here then to fill it and then we can just jump straight back onto this. We're on the same moon. It's Brio's Breakers Yard, we can just jump straight back into the same moon and, and go over to Brio's. So I land here, and you see um, it just floats. It touches the floor, but it just ends up floating. Turn engines off. Oh, okay. This left me engines on, but it's fine. I would recommend turn, making sure you do turn your engines off. Just in case the wind does catch it and it starts blowing away. Go in here, let's have a quick loot around here. You see my dead body over there from when I crashed earlier. So there's a white box here we can knock out. Got the multi tools. I would take the multi tools because they're worth a few hundred. 
to sell. The gloves are probably worth 100 to sell. I'll grab the water as well. Uh, the energy drink in the water. The shoes I could have got, but I'll, I'll leave them. I'm too bothered. Another red box here. We can sell. Oh, I forgot to put the other stuff on my ship from the other place, so it's fine. Let's just move all that. I don't like looting too much when this um, my ship's got cargo on it. I don't like hanging around too much. But I'm just showing you quickly the, you know, looting around. I'm seeing if I can get a tractor beam. Um, I'm getting these. But... Sounds like it's shooting me about. Okay, so let's do this. Let's check. Yeah, so we got again four. Looks like four and eight, and we got the neon as well. So we can we definitely top up here with everything. Yeah, my name. There we go. Took a bit of time. So we'll go for the Widow first because that's where you're going to get the most money. Most profit. Slam is the first and then Widow is second. And then Etam is third. Then Neon. Buy that. Accept that. And then we're left with Etam. Did it? Well, let's buy, buy all the rest of the Etam. Neon. Can't buy no more because I've only got seven grand. What about this? And buy one of them because I've only got seven grand left, so that's basically it. Let's come out of here. So I've only got two thousand left. Come back in. Let's have a look on the ship, see if it tells me how full it is. So we're. Um, 87 or 97, I can't see what it is, 87 or 97, 87% full on the ship, but we haven't got money to fill it now, so we've got to go from here, go and sell this, make the profit, and then just do the run again, so the other places you can go is uh, NT999XX, and the other place from there is... Screenshot right there. Right, so let's get going. So we're almost full. A couple of spaces left there at the back. And so basically, I'm going to keep this video short. I'm not going to do many more. I'm not going to do any more runs, but I'm going to show you the places you can go. So around the Crusader area. Um, we went to sailing, you've got private property you can go to. Then over on yellow, you've got NT99XX here. I mean, not the other one, there's another one here with two ones after it. Don't do that one because that's a security post. So it's this one. 
And then you also on yellow have um, Jump Town, which is a hidden location. You have to use one of the videos to find that. Um, I'll put a video link up there to how to get to the secret location. And then on here you have Neon Waste Management. And then what we'll do is we'll go and sell this at Brio's Breakers Yard. So let's head there, see what we earned from this. Uh, like I said, it's not a video on you can make this much in this amount of time. I just want to show off the Nomad and what I liked about the Nomad and why it's such a good little ship to do uh, the cargo running on. And for me, like I was saying, it's not got massive cargo stocks, so you're not going to be draining the cargo stocks. Um, it's cheap to fill it up, so if you do lose your cargo, it's not a big deal. And you can still make some decent profit. I think it'll be around 70,000. We'll find out once I land. I think it's around 70,000. I might be wrong. We'll see. Here we go. Go to Brio's Breakage Yard. Now this will be the place where people will wait for us. If they're going to be pirating us, this is where they're going to wait. So this ship is part of the free fly at the moment, um, 13th of April to 20th of April, um, 2023. And so this is part of the free fly. So try practicing with a ship um, for anybody that's got it and see how you like it. I absolutely love this ship. And I, even though I sold mine and went up to the hull A and then to the max, I, th I am considering maybe at some point regetting this. It's not smash into the what's it called this time? Deploy landing gear. Landing gear. It is just a nifty little ship. And again, we seem to be uh, doing all right here for um, no pirates. And because it's a small ship, you can land right next to the, the place where you've got to sell this stuff. Which is here. We just land right next to it. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Engine systems disabled. So let's go and see what we earned. I may not remember the amount uh, what we started with, so I'll, I might I might add it to post. But I'll, I might be able to give you a rough rough guess once I. Um, to come into here. Right, so what we're looking for is this building here. Underneath us. We'll go to the terminal here. Select our ship. Nomad. Wait for this. So we'll go up, we'll sell the, the slam first. 79k. I think we had 207 or something like that to begin with, didn't we? Then we'll go for the Widow next, sell that. And then we'll go for the ETAM next, we'll sell that. And then we'll go for the Neon next, we'll sell that. And then we'll go for the Altruxin, whatever it's called, and sell that. There we go. Right, 
Right, so what did we earn? I thought it was 70 grand when I used to do it, but no, it's not. It's 40. So obviously that will be because of stock. When I was doing it before, stock levels were differently different. And when there's more demand, you're buying it at a higher price. Um, and when there's less demand at the place you're selling it, there's a lower price. But I think we made about 40, 40K, around 40,000 on that, which isn't too bad. And we could have filled up a little bit more. So around 45,000 we probably could have made all in all with it. So that's not a bad run. Um, good little ship, like I said, quite nimble. Pretty got good speed to it. it. Does have some good power to it and and shields and and weapons and missiles. Got the back there, so you can put some vehicle in it if you want, if it fits. And just a good, great little look, looking ship as well. And the interior is brilliant. And it also has the bed if you want to do bed log off. So that's this ship. So yeah, go and try it out, guys, and see what you can make with this. And tell me your thoughts in the in the description. Uh, in the comments, should I say, of what you think. Um, I absolutely love this ship. And um, definitely thinking about getting it again at some point. It's just a great ship to have in your fleet. When you want to, when the stocks are, stock levels are low and you just want to do some cargo running, you don't want to be taking a big ship just to get 20 cargo, 30 cargo or whatever, then that's just, that's the perfect ship for it. Like, for, for doing that. Just making, you know, like, I say 40 grand. Just making 40 grand on your runs. And yeah, and if you do hit the points where you do fill it up in one go, you're saving more time as well. So yeah, so we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that punch and tickle that like button for us. It really does help us out. And don't forget to use the code dropping down at the moment for your free fly if you're currently between the the seven, um, the 13th and 20th of April 23. Um, you can you can free fly the ship and try it out yourself. And you'll also, if you do buy the game between that time, you'll also get yourself a Merlin as well. And um, yeah, so I'll also keep an eye in the description um, for things like the Discord links and the org link, the Noobs Gaming org link, and um, just 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 stuff like that. Yeah. So we hope you like it, guys, and we'll see you guys out in the verse. See you later, guys.